Hello everybody, how are you doing? Tonight, I wanted to do a little show and tell of old poetry booklets that me and sometimes others cooperatively made. As I mentioned in a previous video, I would often make these as a way to sort of move on from what I considered like a little like era of writing to just propel myself into something new. I don't have all of them. I've made a lot of them and I don't even have them all, which kind of sucks. I mean, they're out there, but I do not have the whole collection. So, I don't have them all in order, but that doesn't really matter. So many. So, I'm just going to do them in random order. I hope that, you, yeah, we can see these, good. So this one's called Passion Sense. And in each booklet, I would try and do a bit different artwork. Eventually I kind of stopped doing artwork. I'll do some here and there, but I used to do very heavily. This first intro page is just kind of like a, you can't really see it, but it's like a starry sky. There we go. And it has a little quote box there that says, it's cut out from a dictionary, and it's the word function. And then through this book, there's some sort of interesting stuff sometimes. That was a cutout or a trace from some book of a person, and then over top I put this black tape to have that effect. This was kind of the beginning of all this ink blowing art I used to do. I've actually got some tables and furniture that I've done with uh, watered down paint and black ink moved along with a blow dryer and then through it I would do some sort of very precise line work. Uh, I won't show all these books just so I don't take up too much time. But here's a full page picture. These were all traced from a yoga book. So they're just different yoga positions and stretches. But I've made it so that it's just this crazy looking weird thing. And as you can see, these are all human faces. Well, I mean, these two sides here are faces with different compartments. Here's a weird sort of oops, biological looking one, it's kind of like a plant that's gone all crazy. I was doing some stamp work at the time too, I'd make my own stamps from clay. So on the back of this one, oops, you can see that these hands here and the little shapes around them or stamps. I would dip them in black ink and there you go. This one here is called Scapes. It's one of the less interesting ones. All the sort of artwork in it around the writing is uh, just weird cutouts like this. This one here is called Dream. This is my most heavily illustrated one. Every page in it is a full page, quite detailed set of drawings. Hopefully you can get a good view of it. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if I can adjust the light a little bit. That should be a little better. Do you want to have powerful dreams? Before you sleep, say, I want to have powerful dreams, and it'll happen. Pan Trinidad said that. Here's the next page. This one took a long time to make. I wanted each page to be quite different. Those are very collagey and there are some cutouts as you can see. Just kind of random designs. I obviously put my hands in ink for this one. And some more stamp stuff there. This one's a little more simple and just weird. I don't know what this is, but it has a plug. Oops, a cord and a plug going all the way down to a little outlet. Here's this one, has a bunch of stuff floating around in space, including a poem. And here's a pretty detailed skeleton. I see he's holding something here, it's a clock with Roman numerals for time. Give you a closer look at him. I just need to be careful where I hold these books because I am doing this by candlelight, so I do not want to start a fire. These ones here, I kind of folded paper and made cuts so that there'd be little patterns. There's a brain in the middle there. It's kind of difficult to see because of the crease. This one has more examples of the stamps, especially the hands. And this other sort of designs, just to look neat. This one's freaky. This one's me bowling my head. Yes, I'm bowling with my head. Look at that crazy creepy face. This one's just sort of a frame, spectacle. is there at the bottom on the other side it says where here's another one of those sort of collagey looking ones with the various different poses from yoga books so you have people doing yoga poses over strange things are dodging these sort of 3D projectiles that are coming towards them. That's me trying to direct it with my fingers, but it's difficult. <laughs> and the last one is just a big splatter that was directed around. And on the back looking up through buildings and you can see there's a person flying below the moon the 
this one is called Future Cities, probably from 2011 or 2012. Just a little bit of artwork, nothing much. Just a beehive on a branch. And on the back, it's the same branch, but no beehive. Here's a smaller format of booklet. And at one point I was making them with hemp rope to bind them instead of stapling. And on the back, I used to do these, I used to have this book that had a lot of neat little kind of old fashioned, I don't even know what you call it, but I would cut it out and sort of make them my own. And as you can see, this one mentions Puddles of Sky Press, 2007. This booklet was called The Great Show. The title is in the center there in silver. It's kind of hard to see. I don't think there's any artwork inside. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, there are a few little things. There's a bedroom. That's about it. This was the third book that I made called The Words I View. There's a poem on the back that I totally erased. And I believe inside it's just poems. Although, although there are some conceptual ones. For example, this jigsaw poem. That's it for that one. There's not much to see. And this one was called Magic in Hay and Tenny. It's a very symbolic book. It's sort of hard to see, but this is a picture I took of a tree, and then I drew a picture of an owl and put it in that tree. And uh, what's on the back? I think it's a picture of the tree without the owl, which is funny because I did that with the beehive in that more recent book, and this was done quite a few years ago. There's no artwork inside, but I did a lot of structure play with these poems from classical structures. This other little one's called Right Through You. Kind of interesting looking style. Very burnt and papery looking. And on the back again, there's more of that sort of classical looking paper cutout stuff. This is one of my favorites actually. I really enjoyed making the art for this one. Inside. There might be some pictures in this one. Nope, there's not. This is one of the coolest ones. This is Andrew Nurse Live. And this one was a comic book poetry reading. So it's literally set up like a story, and it's a poetry reading. And of course I'm saying things and you can see that I'm holding the book in the book. Ooh, is your mind blown? And then this goes into poetry. And then part of the way through, it jumps back into the comic book. And then at the end, more comic. At the end of the reading, there's a bit of applause. And then for some reason, as you can see, the book here has a fuse and it's going to blow up. <laughs> and it does. I just guess I wanted a neat way to end it. I don't know what I was thinking, but you can see there's a crazy blowing up of everything. And on the back, there's this crazy thing. 
kind of neat. Very detailed teeth. And here's another small one. It's called Faint Transmissions. This is a cloudy, dark night on both sides. As for inside, I don't think there's any pictures. Nope. This one's called Blowout. It was the fourth one I made. And there are some pictures in this one. There's that wacky thing. Kind of a psychedelic, kaleidoscopic picture. There's this. It's kind of creepy. Eye and a hand. Not a bad hand. But a strange picture. Very strange. What else is in here? Ah. This would be a picture of me just sitting on the street writing poetry. This would be in Coburg. Kind of cool. What else is in this one? Oh, that's it. On the back, there's a little DMA, DNA concept poem here. And I wrote it so that it, when you got to the end, it would connect to the beginning. And you could kind of read it over and over if you wanted to. No pictures inside this one, but it's called A Good Birth. And there's a person crawling out of a lock. Got a few doubles here, so I'm just skipping some of them. Ah, this one's cool. This is the second one I made. I made this when I was living in Peterborough for the first time. And the image in the front is this interesting floating piece of land with all these crazy buildings on it. Like observatories where the lens is an eyeball can't quite make it out. Inside there are a lot of pictures. There's a strange door amongst the clouds. At the time, I had interesting perspectives on where I was living, and I spent a lot of time just kind of on my own, and in a bedroom that was actually just curtains in a living room, and it was kind of like my cave, so there's me in that cave, and there's the exit to the cave on the other page. This was a long time ago. There's a cat. Her name was Luna. That's about all for that one. This one we did as a group, a few friends of mine. It's called Fast Four Words. So all the poems had to be four words. There's several people who took part in this. Some of it has artwork. Here's a cool center page by Pan Trinity Doss. A very nice, um, I'm not sure what you'd call it. It's very symmetrical and neat. It has a cool font. Double, a couple doubles, double, 
Double, double. So now, here's a couple that I only have the hard copy for. And I keep them in this big tome. It was like an encyclopedia or an atlas, and I painted over it. Let's see which ones we haven't looked at here. What do we got? There might not be too much. We've seen all of these ones. I know there's gotta be something in here. Here's one. There's no art inside, so I'll just show the cover. This one was called A Dismissible Madness. And it's a big city picture some color to represent all the different lights inside the buildings and here you have a bunch of guys that are pulling the moon out of the sky this whole booklet i wrote phonetically it was fun oh i was looking for this one i couldn't find it the other day but it was a very sarcastic one called Poo the Consciousness. Poo the Consciousness. And it's written with brown finger paint, like poop. I'm glad this is in here. I thought I didn't have a copy and I knew I'd seen it. More have we already seen? I think we're coming to the end. Those are all the booklets of mine that I still have. My friends have quite a few that are keeping safe for me, which is nice. But I think even combined, we don't have all the booklets I've made. We might. It's kind of hard to keep track. I've also got lots of booklets that weren't made by me. Lots of my friend Michael Castiles, for example. Like here's one of his called Postscript. Pretty cool. It's got really nice quality paper. And on the back of it, the more modern Puddles of Sky Press logo with the upside down exclamation mark. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Nowadays, I'm doing most of these kind of things on the computer. Um, just because, I don't know why actually, I should make some more on paper. I mean, I am working on making a big collection of all the writing I like from all these books and more and putting it into one. So it's a big project for me and that should be done in a few months. So the next video, I'll be reading another collection of poems, a little one, just a little collection. But I thought I'd share the kind of history of my writing, which is that stuff right there. Of course, before all those, I just wrote tons of stuff in notebooks. I started making those little zines, you know, the do-it-yourself publication stuff, in I think 2005. But I had been writing for years before that, and I just I've got boxes of notebooks and binders of writing and this and that. So, but nothing pretty to share when it comes to those things. So, until next time, enjoy yourselves.